Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey. And after many, many delays, hours and hours of delays, the longest delay ever that wasn't part of an in-game event, Chapter 5, Season 2 is finally live. Yes. We are so excited to have this live now. We've been waiting for it all day. I woke up in the morning expecting there to be an update. And, uh, you know, I was excited just because I was excited to, for everybody else's excitement. Because even though I wasn't going to get to play because I had to go to work, I was like, oh, I can't wait to see all the clips of everybody playing and everybody's excitement about what they're doing in the game and reading about it. But... That's not what happened because there was a big delay this morning. They said they had technical problems, so it was going to be an eight-hour delay. And then they were coming up on that, and they said, nope, it's going to be a longer delay. And then, you know, a couple hours into that, they were like, it's going to be five more hours. So <laughs> it just kept getting longer and longer. But it's finally here, and that's all that really matters. I myself am a crew member uh, so, uh, I already have the battle pass. When I opened up, uh, the game here, you get Cerberus to start out, uh, and Cerberus looks absolutely amazing. It looks just like the wolves in the, uh, teaser, uh, trailer that we got. So, um, yeah, looks amazing. But, uh, you know, we're, we're here to talk about the update. We want to get details, right? That's what you want. You want details. So let's get into the details. Uh, this is the blog post. Make history in Fortnite Battle Royale Chapter 5 Season 2 Myths and Mortals. Pandora's box has been opened on the Fortnite Battle Royale Island, bringing Olympus to the battlefield. And I guess with the, the delay, we can kind of blame ourselves as players, right? We're the ones that opened Pandora's box. We, we knew that was going to cause chaos when that happened. Uh, Olympian at Legends, including Hades and the Thunder God Zeus, now rule the island in otherworldly rage. To make matters worse, they've brought their power and weapons with them. Use their mytho mythological means against them in Chapter 5, Season 2, Myths and Mortals. Legendary locations, Mount Olympus. You can't have Olympus without Mount Olympus, home of Zeus. You'll always feel like you're being watched with the grand monument that graces this great mountain. Grim Gate. To get to the underworld, one way to get there is crossing the river at Grim Gate, where the three-headed guard dog Cerberus awaits. Venture to the west of the island to confront these canines. The Underworld. Past the Hounds is the home of Hades, the Underworld. Despite its flowing streams, the land of this city is almost completely dried up. Brawler's Battleground. The god of war, Ares, always welcomes a battle. Take him up on his challenge in the Brawler's Battleground Arena south of Mount Olympus. Oh yeah, Ares will be the outfit of the April 2024 crew pack. These are just some of the locations the gods brought to the island. However, don't forget what else they've brought with them. Chaos upon the land. The gods descended with their powers and weapons. But that doesn't mean your next battle has to end in tragedy. And make your next battle a myth to remember by using them for yourself. Thunderbolt of Zeus. Become a storm of your own. With the Thunderbolt of Zeus, you can rise into the air and hurl lightning bolts at your target. Use this power wisely, though, as the Thunderbolt of Zeus has three maximum charges with a cooldown between each one. 
how to wield this electricity, pick up this mythic power across the island, or by defeating Zeus himself. And I gotta say that is something that I really like about the mythics this season is that you're going to be able to get them in other ways than just defeating a boss. So it's not like you have to defeat that boss so there's only one of it and then you kind of feel like, oh, whoever has that in the match is overpowered and they're probably going to win. It's, you know, multiple people uh, can have it. Uh, which also increases your uh, chances of getting one um, in, in matches. Gatekeeper Shotgun, forged by... Uh, hmm... I don't remember how to say this. Forged by Hephaestus, Hephaestus for Cerberus, the Gatekeeper Shotgun can quickly fire three aggressive rounds. This shotgun is best at short range, so hit all three shots fast to show your bites as bad as your bark. When you're done, prepare for your next target with a full magazine reload. The Gatekeeper Shotgun can be found across the island, but the Mythic variant is only obtainable from Cerberus rolling over. So you gotta defeat Cerberus, you'll get the version that uh, does more damage than the other ones. Harbinger SMG. Like Hades himself, the Harbinger SMG is unforgiving and relentless, even when exhausted. Highly accurate when first shot, it has dramatically increased recoil and bloom as more bullets are fired. But that doesn't stop it from going all out. Find the regular versions across the island or the mythic version from defeating Hades. Huntress DMR Artemides, goddess of the moonlit hunt. During battle, take a note from it's Artemis, right? Yeah, from Artemis. And use a weapon created to dole out punishment from a distance. Even though it was created for gods to punish mortals, flip the script and use the Huntress DMR to punish the gods. And some mortals, too, we guess. We can hunt for the Huntress DMRs across the island or get the mythic version by hunting down Zeus. Uh, you know, I do like that the 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 thunderbolt of zeus um is going to be found you know like like they said across the island just like the other ones the weapons you know you, they're going to be found across the island you can just get a little bit better version of them as mythics but not it, they it's not like it's the only one you can have in the game so i like that the thunderbolt will be you know, it's not just like the one person has the one uh, shot at it for the match. Warforged Assault Rifle. The Warforged Assault Rifle is forged for battle-hungry gods, which is why it's the favorite of Ares. Powerfully, powerful yet unruly, this assault rifle has high damage, high rate of fire, and strong recoil. Find one across the island or fight Ares for the mythic version. Another power, the power of flight. The thunderbolt of Zeus isn't the only Olympian power. With the wings of Icarus, soar through the skies and dive bomb your foes below. But beware, fly too long and your wings will burn up, and taking too much damage may lead to a crash landing. Find this mythic power across the island, yet another Olympian power is coming your way. The chains of Hades will pull you in later this season so we saw them used in the trailer uh but they're not in the game to start the season so uh we'll we'll have to wait maybe a few weeks uh for that one underground in the underworld weapons from last season unlike orpheus looking back at uh eurydice you're allowed to turn up the weapons from Chapter 5, Season 1. Here's a list of weapons returning from last season. So we still got the Hammer Pump Shotgun, Frenzy Auto Shotgun, Nemesis AR, Thunderburst SMG, Raper Sniper Rifle, and Ranger Pistol. Myths and Maz. It's not enough that weapons descended from Olympus. The Thermal Scope and Speed Grip weapon mods did too. Also farged by Hephaestus, the Thermal Scope mod can be attached to any scoped weapon. 
want vision like that of the gauze it more than doubles the scope view and has a thermal effect you can toggle on or off with the speed grip mob your movement speed will while aiming will increase aim true and don't tarry like last season you can find mods at mod benches but this time the benches are in new weapons bunkers the bunkers that are unchained will unlock in the middle of the match when they become ready to raid if mods aren't your mo weapon bunkers also have weapons <laughs> um let's see the myths materialize in the myths and mortals battle pass uh, i'm not going to read through that because we're going to look at the battle pass in just a moment uh let's see here but this is a, a key note here the gods aren't the only ones known for controlling the elements later in the season unlock the avatar Korra, which we saw in the trailer using the waterbending uh, mythic item that uh, we expect to see this season. The myths and mortals battle pass will be available to progress in until May 24th, 2024 at 2 a.m. Eastern. So again, because this season it's not falling in the middle of major holiday season. This season, uh, you know, it's already March, April, May. <laughs> there you go. You got like two and a half months instead of like the three, three and a half months that we had with the last season. This one's going to be two and a half months. So, uh, again, be on top of uh, progressing through that battle pass. Uh, rank zero build any match making test ranked zero build players in north america we've heard your feedback about longer queue times at the upper zero build ranks to address this we're doing a test the na east and na west matchmaking regions will route to the na central matchmaking region for ranked zero build this is so that ranked zero build players in north america will be up against a wider pool of players which means shorter queue times the results of this test will determine if this is a long-term solution more ranked updates the following updates apply to both ranked battle royale and ranked zero build we tweaked progression in the upper ranks to make it harder and more rewarding to reach unreal points are no longer granted for surviving without taking damage uh that's going to be tough for people like me and i know uh some of the older dads like me in the discord uh and uh the uh i just saw it because uh, it was mentioned to me by some of the some of my uh fellow uh boomer uh, fortnite players uh you know i can't remember the guy's name though something it's like uh uh yeah it's like a camping dad though it's like couch camper or something i can't remember Everybody in the Discord who is a fan of him will know. I just recently found out about him, and I was like, oh, wow, that's exactly what <laughs> I used to do. And, uh, yeah, that's going to hurt us a little bit, but I think you'll still be okay if you go with that strategy. It'll just take you a little bit longer now. Competitive notes. The competitive spirit of Arius. Check out the Chapter 5, Season 2 competitive details blog post to see this season's tournament lineup, including ranked cups, mixed up Mondays, cash cups, and more. Uh, we will get to that in the next episode. Uh, and that is your update for Chapter 5, Season 2. There's the details. Be excited. Get in there. Go play. I know a lot of you by the time you're hearing this... Um, you are finally waking up and getting a chance to play because a lot of you by the time the update finally went live you're probably fast asleep but uh now that you're hearing this uh if you went to sleep and you're hearing this episode uh and you haven't got on Fortnite yet and you're wondering if it's a lot if it's live it is go play it right now you're gonna have a blast it's gonna be a cool season all right so there you go there's your update Again, we're going through details and everything, so um, we're not going to... I mean, we are going to skip what people are playing today because we want to go look at that battle pass. We got a new battle pass to go over, and, you know, this episode's already going to take longer, so uh, we can skip it. Let's look at the battle pass. Lots of cool items, cool loading screens. You're going to get uh, some cool pickaxes. 
uh, this first page, you know, again, it's all themed uh, for items for uh, Cerberus. I really like this Shadow Bites glider, this like awesome uh, motorcycle <laughs> uh, with the wolf head on the front. That's awesome looking. The Hayden Gate back plane, that's cool. The three heads of the wolf there. Um, okay. Interesting. All right. Well, the Cerberus outfit itself looks amazing. I'm a fan of that one. I love uh, it, the, the the green and black and the smoky effects coming off of it. Looks really cool. Uh, looks like the next page is also dedicated to uh, Cerberus just getting more, uh, you know, getting additional styles for uh, that outfit. Again, all the effects are really cool. And then the next page, here we go with Aphrodite. She is the one that we saw in the teasers wearing Icarus's wings. And, you know, it's Aphrodite, so of course she is looking mighty fine. Uh, and uh, the items that you get of hers, the Gilded Heart item wrap, the Hearts Carver pickaxe, those all look mighty fine as well. The Aphrodite outfit. There you go. That's a cool one. Just like you would expect, uh, you know, Aphrodite. Now, the next page, again, additional styles for Aphrodite. Uh, again pretty cool the immortal aphrodite now that one's really cool as well i like the the look of this one with the, the 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 pink shade and yellow i like that now poseidon here we go we got slurp poseidon is our next page you get a wrap you're gonna get a back bling a cozy conch back bling with a little baby slurp in the shell <laughs> that's amazing uh the break short trident pickaxe and then poseidon outfit itself looks awesome love to see like a muscular slurp this time <laughs> that's cool uh and then the next page again being an additional style where now it becomes purple you get a conch call emote <laughs> okay cool love it uh you know and then the immortal poseidon and now it's a purple slurp uh now medusa is the next page okay gorgon agus back bling the gorgon blade pickaxe and then the medusa outfit itself Ooh, she's looking scary with those snakes as the hair that's cool I like the snake skin uh, dress she has on too. That's cool. Uh, uh, ooh, the serpentine summoning emote uh, is the next page. All right, that's cool. Got the little rattle tail. You got an item wrap for snake skin. That looks cool. The serpent's eye wrap. Um, and then the Gorgon Warrior Medusa. I really like that version of Medusa. She just looks like that much more like ready. You know, it says warrior, so she looks like she is ready for battle in this one. And I love the way the snakes change into purple and pink. And, you know, that it just fits like the Fortnite theme perfectly with the purple and pink storm. You know, that looks cool. Now Zeus is our next page. You get a stormy descent contrail. You'll get the Thunderbolt Aegis, the Grand Olympus Guitar. That's looking cool. Um, Thunder and Lightning Glider. Oh, that's cool. I like that. And then the Zeus outfit itself. You know, Zeus. He's looking very, you know, godly. <laughs> he looks like he knows it too. Uh, then we got our next page. You get the Tempest Flight emote. Shooting electricity and floating. Bolt Blades pickaxe. And then a Conqueror Zeus style is the next one. Again, just putting on some more armor ready for battle. The Artemis uh, is next page. Uh, you get a pickaxe. You're going to get the Back Bling. Uh, the Huntress Liar. You get the Moonlit Mystery Emote. 
Come on. Show, here we go. Nice. Shoot the arrow up into the air, and then you dance around. Then the Artemis outfit itself looks cool. Again, I love the galaxy uh, effect that this one already has in the body, the arms, the legs, the hair. That's cool. And then you'll get an additional style for this one where you get all, all the items get an immortal style. The immortal Artemis outfit looks really cool because it's a galaxy style um, effect on it still, but now it, it's like a, like a fiery orange yellow color to it. She puts the mask on. That's really cool. This is a really cool battle pass. Uh, then Hades is our final page. You get some Shadow Smoke Contrail. You're gonna get the Underworlder bass guitar, the Hadian key pickaxe, the Elysium item wrap then hades outfit itself again just the way this character looks so cool i love the cool crown you love the gas mask he's wearing those green finger claws he's got the green like coming behind the eyes and inside the hoodie that looks so so cool okay so now we get to the immortal hades page you got the snake bite key ring back bling you're going to get a lobby music. You're all mine. Uh, you get the Hadean chariot uh, glider. That'll be cool to be riding down to the island on. And then we'll get the dark transformation built in emote that lets you change styles for your uh, Hades outfit. Very cool, very cool. Big fan of this one. Uh, the souls and skulls flying around him until he changes. That's cool. So that is a really, really cool battle pass. Please don't forget to use code Mikey when you are uh, purchasing the battle pass. Because it will support the show, you know. Uh, so there's that. Uh, there's the battle pass. Um... You know, again, they will eventually, we will be uh, getting Korra as the uh, outfit that we unlock later this season when those quests come out, uh, coming in 28 days. So four weeks is when we will start the quest line to unlock Korra. Um, quests. Let's do it. You got a, a, a list of quests. Uh, quests to kickstart this thing search in olympus chest or underworld chest collect bars at name locations find and accept shadow briefings dash three times in 10 seconds while affected by underworld dash um using mod bench inside a weapons bunker hit an opponent with wings of icarus dive bomb attack damage opponents with thunderbolt of zeus and challenge an olympian boss at the altar uh so there's your list of uh, quests to just get stuff done and start leveling up really quick. Uh, you got your dailies. Uh, it looks like we're going to get story quests, as they put it. Uh, Myths and mortals, those will be coming in three days. So that's really cool that they're going to make sure that they have actual storyline quests and they have it sectioned off here so it'll be easy to follow. Because this, I mean... It's, it's myths and legends. It should be fun to do. You would think if they're going to do lore, this would be the kind of season where it would be fun to do lore and to make sure that they are, um, you know, that they are more focused on it. And then let's look at our weeklies. It's week zero. You need to emote in different matches, five of them. Visit the underworld and Mount Olympus. Mantle in different named locations, five in total. Headshot opponents with the Huntress DMR three times. And then you need to hit players within five seconds of falling, ten. And you need to eliminate players with Gatekeeper Shotgun three in total. And then again, our first set of quests will come in three days and seven hours. So there you go. There's your set of quests. Get in there, start doing them, start leveling up quick. Uh, again, don't get behind. Uh, on this battle pass, this is kind of battle pass where you want to be like uh, Sadus Bob, Dusky, Guido Lose, um, 
two tone tile i think it was as well you want to be like those guys and you want to get into the you know like level 200 300 battle pass you know you just want to make sure that you get so far into the battle pass that you know you have unlocked everything from this uh battle pass in this season because a lot of really cool looking stuff so there you go there's the battle pass um now let's go look at the item shop and see what's in the item shop today okay we got our cars here uh we got our jam tracks we got the gear we have lady gaga we have the trailblazers again the chapter uh one season two uh track suit outfits 1200 each um we have the neutron repair bundle that's got the comet outfit with traveler class tech pack back bling for 1200 the rip wrecker pickaxe for 800 the comets glow wrap which is new for 500 or you get it all in the bundle for 2000 which is 700 off the total we have the jubilation emote for 200 i'm sure everybody was doing this when the uh season finally went live after hours of waiting <laughs> uh the headbanger emote for 500 the fate outfit for 2000 the vice outfit for 800 the brainstorm outfit for 1200 we got the new outfit yes rufus character is finally in here the rufus uh raccoon character uh selectable styles you can have the hat on which is the trash can lid or off and then you get his little like uh mohawk that he has so cool to finally see this outfit in that uh, item shop we've been waiting for this one for a long time comes with the trashed can back bling as well 1200 for that the trash trouncer pickaxe uh, is 800 V-Bucks, and that's a trash can lid that you use as the pickaxe for, you know, that goes with the Rufus set. The whiteout outfit is here for 1,500. The tomato head outfit for 1,500. Uh, we got the spider knight outfit for 2,000. Jitter shock outfit for 1,500. Rats attack bundle for 1,800, which is 800 off the total. That's got the Camille outfit, Camille, um, I mean, the Squeak built-in emote, Hearts Attack Back Bling for 1,500. Uh, the bundle has the uh, wrap and uh, loading screen and rat tail pickaxe as well. Uh, let's see here. The Battle Hound outfit is 2,000. Valkyrie outfit's 2,000. The Frostwing Glider's 1,500. The Arc outfit is 2,000. The Virtue Pickaxe is 800. We got the Shoya emote for 500. Dreadfade outfit for 1,800. Wolf outfit for 1,200. Guernsey outfit for 1,200. Dread Omen outfit for 1,500. Uh, Marshall Mathers, the M&M outfits are back in here. Lady Gaga is still here uh, as well, of course, in the Festival Pass. All right, that looks like everything today. You can get any and all of these items using code Mikey, M-M-M-I-K-I-E, in the item shop, and some of the proceeds will go to help support the show. And please don't forget to use it when you are getting that Battle Pass as well. And... Uh, today's item of the day, it's an easy one. That's that new Rufus character. Again, we've been waiting for this one for a long time. You know, we've seen teasers of it. We've seen leaks about it. Um, and it's just been one that we've been waiting for a long time. We even, you know, we saw the little, when they used it for the, the emote, whichever emote that was when they used it for the teaser for the emote. So it's finally here. So it's got to be the item of the day, right? So there you go. There's your item of the day along with the battle pass itself. And that is going to be the episode. Let me know when you finally get a chance to play this update, what you think of this new season. How do you like the new locations? How do you like the new weapons? How do you like the new mythics? All right, let me know all of that in the comments. And then make sure you go join the daily Fortnite Discord and hang out with us. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Head over to Apple Podcasts. Leave a five-star rating and a written review for a shout-out on the show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And until next time, have fun, be safe, and don't get lost in the storm. <laughs>